Hello, my friends. Russell Wright from Super-Intelligent AI, and I want to talk to all of my private members inside the QMiracle, QLocal, and QStar-AI section about what's happening. So you may have noticed that we've opened up a free members area and a community area called QStar-AI, and this is really about the future of artificial intelligence in terms of superintelligence and a GI or artificial general intelligence, which precedes superintelligence. So one of the things that I want to talk to you about is why we created that area, what you can expect in that area. On my screen here, I'm going to look over here because you guys can see the screen share. Superintelligent Alliance token merge, ASI is going to be the token. There's three major organizations that have all come together. And what I just want you to know here are the bullet points. There is a huge stand that we all must take if you're interested in Team Human. And that stand is against the giant centralized mergers of these gigantic tech corporations that all would like to control artificial general intelligence and artificial superintelligence. I want you to understand that artificial general in uh, intelligence is already here, and yet you still can't do anything on your computer with a personal assistant that can run all your applications. There's a reason for that. Satya has that. All the, the CEO of Microsoft has it. The CEO of Google has it. Yes, they do. They have chatbot, super assistant, crazy Jarvis-like things that do all kinds of cool stuff with the power of like 100 people. Okay? Why do you think you don't have it? Part of the reason you don't have it is because they don't have an artificial intelligence operating system, and that is being worked on. So what I want you to understand is that major players in the open source space and I'm not including Facebook in that yet because they don't have a good track record of what they end up doing with their open source. Just like OpenAI doesn't have a great track record um, because of Microsoft not having a great track record of keeping things open source. Um, what I want you to understand is that these major tokens, Fetch AI, Singularity Labs, and Ocean Strategy, all merge their tokens within the community. And for those of you who don't know a lot about crypto, that's completely fine. In order to work this tech platform and bring all of the best together to make a stand against trillion dollar corporations, they've decided to merge their tokens together, okay? Now understand on the ground, these tokens are just used as a currency of exchange between these networks, and we're not gonna get more, in, more into it than that. But I want you guys to know, let me just pull this over here, that I've created a section inside of the QSTAR AI area we will be having things like information gain training, how to deal with information gain, neural novelty, uh, topical novelty, and the rest. Kalen will be teaching a lot in there. I'll be teaching a lot in there. There will be some crossover with SEO. Those types of trainings will be paid trainings. We will still have the community open lobby, but basically what we're doing is trying to spearhead a community of people who, if the fit hits the shan, so to speak, in reverse, that we all know each other as humans. One of the cool things that artificial intelligence, super intelligence as the new moon shot, or you know, Elon Musk's Mars shot that he announced four days ago, more on that later. The new moon shot is the Mars shot, but the deeper Mars shot is super intelligence, okay? Because it's right here on Earth. We don't need to go to Mars or outer space to have a uh, artificial intelligent life form or an extraterrestrial life form. It's an intraterrestrial life form. And the reason we need to be very much on guard of what's going on is because it's quickly and radically super um, centralizing. So I've created this section called AI Open Source Manifesto. This is influencer number one. This is Emad and Peter. Okay, some of you may follow them in your section. If you see me put a video in here, it means you must watch it if you care about what's happening in decentralized and uh, open source super intelligence and artificial intelligence, okay? I've put it in there very specifically. Okay, so when we're dealing with influencers like this, whether you follow their YouTube channel, I will probably provide a commentary on everything that, on videos that I put in there, okay? So you gotta understand that EMAD stepping down from singularity is a very, I'm from stability, sorry, stability.ai is a very, very big deal. Okay, he was able to leverage huge, um, huge amounts of compute and create images. His image technology and compression technology has been used everywhere. And of course, he doesn't really want to be CEO of that company because it doesn't allow him to champion these, re these changes and the safety regulations and the open source value systems that drove um, Stability AI to be who they were. Okay, so I want you to be aware of this stuff. You might ask yourself, what, is it all, what does this have to do with SEO? 
absolutely everything. Everything from Google Vision to Google's new SGE, um, wait, Stargate SGE, <laughs> yeah, I think it is, um, the uh, natural language learning models that we now have on Google. Um, these are about to come out of their experimental form. Okay, so these major corporations have as much compute as God, as what Microsoft literally said that, which is, of course, not at all true. But the fact that we're saying stuff like this, Microsoft is quoted as saying, oh, we're not worried if OpenAI goes away tomorrow because we're in them, around them, and beyond them. In other words, they've absorbed all of their tech into Microsoft and all their patents. Okay, so think about that for a second. Everything is rapidly uh, coalescing to a central company that wants to control the world. And they've made no bones about it. What they're really selling us is like, it's the cool, and you'll find out in the video that I've uploaded in there, or you can watch it on YouTube, whatever you want to do. I want to make sure that you guys understand the reason that I've put these in the members area is think about this for a second. Okay. Some of the open source AI champions, including, including people that I respect a lot, like Emod. Okay. Emod hacked his own son's mental health issues, okay, his autism, using artificial intelligence that he designed, and his son is normal now, okay, I want you to understand, when I, when I look at Emad, and I talk about him, and the inc incredible things that he's done, uh, along with Peter's help, who's also a, a champion, Emad literally used AI at high levels, with his soon-to-be billion-dollar company, in order to get his son not even showing any symptoms at all on the spectrum, okay? And he describes this in some of his videos. So I want you guys to know that the material sciences, the medical sciences, the cancer uh, research, the, the protein go fold or, you know, protein uh, alpha fold and all these others, these technologies need to be available to us as the masses. But humanity does not have a good track record of la allowing these power tools to be used by you and I. And it's already, the cheese is starting to already slide off the cracker. I don't like where it's going. And this is why I take a left step away from SEO at least once a week to start documenting and letting you guys know I'm not saying the sky is falling. I'm saying there may not even be a sky. All right. We don't know what this is going to do. We don't know how far the claims have been that artificial super intelligence, according to the singularity is near. Okay. Artificial super intelligence is supposed to be here the, in four years. Okay, artificial general intelligence is already here, and that's why the political debate is so deep. And the hush hush of OpenAI is a cross between press releases, rumor, hype, and somewhere in the middle is the truth. And even if a lot of it's hype, we're still many, many years ahead of where we thought things were going to go. And on top of that, these regulations, even though Elon Musk's lawsuit is somewhat silly, I think in terms of legal. Uh, matters, in my personal opinion. I'm a non-expert. But the fact that he did create a lawsuit allows the world to bring their attention. It was more of a pub publicity stunt. The world was able to bring their intention, attention to uh, this particular issue. Okay, And the issue needs to be looked at. And I would like you guys to start supporting these influencers. I was also yesterday able to talk briefly to Julia McCoy. Julia McCoy's husband is also in the SEO industry, creating SEO content applications and the rest, similar to what we do. But the one thing I, I like about what Julia is doing, and while I'm going to bring her into our community as an influencer, is her, her YouTube channel is blowing up. She's got 14,000 subscribers, and she's decided to take the entire position of how to prepare, how to prepare for AGI and ASI, which we really need to do. Not just the dystopian, but also the positive benefits, because we already have thousands of jobs that have 100% confirmed been removed and destroyed due to artificial intelligence, okay? Meaning not even AGI, just general basic stuff, not artificial general intelligence. But so if this is where we're at now, and the robot, the contract for robot armies to be able to execute and do things is now in the billions of dollars. And I can, we'll be showing you the factories that are building them. And the robots are coming. Like, it really is um, uh, Will Smith's iRobot from the whole uh, Isaac Asimov series, okay? So this is what this is about. 
hopefully you'll be able to introduce. We're going to be bringing a lot of influencers in. Um, I'm hoping to get an interview with Imad at some point. If our group gets large enough, when our group gets large enough, which is inevitable, I'll just call him up. I know where to go. I have access. And then, of course, we'll bring Julia and people like her into our community um, to start talking about what is and is not the case. Kaylin will speak also on how to manage this from uh, the content side is very technical and she's learning how to do what's called information gain processing and, and articles. On top of that, there's going to be a need for spiritual reparation as people's meaning, which is not that I resemble this at all, but pe men's and women's meaning is oftentimes tied very much to their job, sometimes even more than their children. Okay, so you gotta understand when this is all transformed or taken away, or perhaps changed beyond recognition, people are going to be wondering what the next thing is, all right? So this is what I just wanted to make you aware of. This section is about that. It's about preparation for phase one, Q star, which is very likely already in the can, guys. Two, artificial general intelligence, which is probably less than 24 months out. And three, artificial super intelligence. Unless it's suppressed or oppressed by the Department of Defense, which is possible because they have huge uh, stakes in this uh, and there's a huge military venue behind AGI. Um, you know, these are the three phases and I want you to be aware of how that's going to affect one, search, two, all the other jobs that you're interested in doing, okay? And three, your just general life, philosophically, spiritually, and within your family unit. Okay, we're in the strangest of times right now, and we're going to need some leadership that understands this. And I would like us to look at organizations like Superintelligence Alliance, which is a bunch of very smart people have gotten together and gone, holy crap, did Microsoft just do that? Holy crap, did Google just do that? And holy crap, did Congress just totally not get at all that Microsoft, Google, and the other big trillion dollar tech bros are all working together? No, they don't. We have video that from John Stewart's comedy, actually, that actually shows that they interviewed five congressmen and senators asking them if, if they felt that our government was able to grasp, understand, regulate, and even conceive of the transformation that artificial intelligence would provide. And he's got these, I'm going to put that in a members area. He's got these ridiculously funny quotes from senators. <laughs> One of them was, I think, the senator from Texas. Was it Texas? Or, um, who said... Uh, the short answer is, do, the question was, do we have, does government have the insight and, and savvy to understand everything that was just discussed in this hearing uh, to help manage and regulate and understand artificial intelligence? And he said, the short answer is no. The long answer is hell no. <laughs> So we'll, we'll play that for you. But my point for you guys is that we got to stick together. So this community is about making you more money. Yes. A business in a box for local search. We've chosen local search for a reason because it's going to be one of the last men standing. Okay. It's, guys, Google business profiles are part of the heart of the American economy, which is part of the American dream. However long that lasts in its old form into its transitionary form. Okay. So there's a connection as to why Kaylin and I chose to service and create amazing products in the Google business profile area, because it still feeds the common man to the best degree it can as everything centralizes in these trillion dollar companies. So I need you guys to be aware because it does affect your job, does affect the pricing of your products, does affect how you teach, does affect the future of what's financially viable. And we even had a student recently who reached out to us and said, hey, yeah, I'm still interested in SEO, but I'm moving a little bit over into the AI area of how I can do AI automation on the rest. Okay, and we watch this stuff every day. So I want to make sure that all of you know what you're getting yourself into. Okay, one of the things I also want to prepare you for is here is text core text. I just talked this morning to the CEO of text core text in the discord room. And this is something that we're going to be offering. We're going to be teaching everybody out of 23 applications. I have found text cortex to be the most effective, the most forward looking and the most innovative application for the decentralization of building your own knowledge bases and having conversations with your own knowledge base uh, from any type of, of AI. If you don't trust ChatGPT4, you can move over to Xeno. If you don't want to talk to Xeno, you can move over to um, Anthropic. So this, these are the things we're going to be talking about and teaching in this training. 
All right, you guys, I hope that sums it up. By the way, we do have um, affiliate availability of Text Cortex, so I'll go ahead and leave that link in here. But mark my words, we're going to be showing you with the information gain and with Text Cortex and any other technologies that we find useful. We'll put them all in the AI, the QSTAR-AI section. And nobody knows as much as all of us knows, so we're looking really forward to anything else you bring for us to audit and for our influencers like Imad, and Julia, and many other people that we're going to be talking to, bringing into this area, okay? And hopefully my friend Dave Shapiro as well, who is a, uh, a full stack, he wrote a book on AI, AGI cognitive architecture, and has been planning um, programming automation and AI for 20 years, okay? And I've been dialoguing with him a bit on LinkedIn. So I'll talk to you guys on the inside. I just wanted you to know what that section was about. It's mostly for fun, entertainment, and preparation, but it does have a lot of crossover in the future of SEO, and we look forward to moving with you into this exciting new uh, future as humans. Thanks, guys.